or we cannot meet the demand. Uh, the challenge that we have is that uh, our market, uh, uh, the domestic market, uh, is unstructured, uncoordinated. Uh, make, uh, yeah. So, so, so uh, in the domestic market, uh, farmers are not able uh, to full uh, tap those market opportunities. Um, uh, we, we are selling, for instance, to Kenya. Uh, in 2018, we stole uh, fruits, vegetables, and, and the you know, uh, horticultural market. Uh, market size is worth about 159 uh, uh, US dollars. I mean, that is the value of import of horticultural produce uh, uh, in, in the East African region. Uh, so you can see we have tremendous potentials uh, to reach. Uh, onions, uh, pineapple, uh, passion fruits, banana we, 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 for, 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 for the regional market. Now, when it comes to international market, um, we, uh, we have a more guaranteed uh, connection with the international market because, you know, uh, you have the contracts or you have assurance uh, from the buyers that they will take uh, what they will order. Uh, it, uh, European market, which is the biggest market, especially for uh, for the perishable products. So we say we are selling products like you know flowers, uh, vegetables. Uh, number one crop, and it has been growing tremendously uh, during the past decade. In the year 2010, we exported avocados worth uh, 142,000 US avocado uh, was 23 million US dollars. So you can see that is about a 15%, 15,000% increase in a decade. And the thousands of farmers are, 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 being, are, are benefiting uh, from this uh, transaction. In Jombe, we have a pack house where uh, different companies uh, they package their avocado in 2018. And until today, uh, although there are no massive operations of avocado, but until today, we have uh, the farmers earn the revenue of about one, about 759,000. Uh, that is significant. And as a country, we end about 1.1 million US dollars. This is this is this is coming just from uh, from a pack house um, that uh, was established jointly uh, between the government and and Taha. Uh, yeah. So uh, the, the 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 impact is huge. I saw that you also see the, uh, the presentation that I prepared for this session. So I think uh, uh, the best way I can give uh, specific information according to the needs. So Tula, back to you. Okay, thank you very much. Actually, um, I would advise um, Nora and um, the Secretariat to take questions through the chat room. So if you have a question, please write in the chat. And then the secretariat will pick the questions, can um, ask the questions to, to reduce the back and forth of, um, of unused before. I would advise if you have a question, just write the question in the chat room. Then we go to the next session. Um, we'll do the same. And then Anton, if there will be questions, then we'll come back to you and you will uh, reply the questions. I think that will be, we will save time. We have delayed and, and I think that will be much more efficient for everybody. As the presentation, and then to end up with a session in Ayofuata, to Takapo Mariza in the session, Kama Kutokona Maswari, Yataulizwa, Anton Yatajibu, Nayule Mungine, while the session in Ayofuatia Pia, Ataweza, Kujibu Hal Maswari. So, Kwasasa, 
anafuatia mwenzetu kutoka Kilolo aje aweze kutoa presentation yake na yeye atakuwa na dakika kumi za ku present so presenter from Kilolo your topic Are you uh, availability in the avocado availability in Kilolo? As I'm working in the Southern Highlands, I can just say something that when it comes to avocado nowadays, people are just when you mention avocado, they think of Funjombe, but in reality, avocado is all over Southern Highlands. Avocado can be grown anywhere. The only advantage that Southern Highland has is that they have a season whereby the whole world do not have the avocados. So we have a window between March and May whereby nobody else is producing avocado. So in that time, we are much more competitive. And also we have another window in September and October. But avocado can be there the whole year. But that is the time where it's whereby it is peak. So we have avocado in Iringa, like Kilolo, we have avocado in Mbea, in Rungwe, we have working with Ta and the other partners in the Southern Highlands. So Kilolo farm, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you, Madam Tula. My name is Dixon Indanga. I'm a general director of Kilolo Farm Products Limited. We are a registered company for export of fruits and uh, vegetables. Actually, our office are based in Ringa. We have a third person before. Uh, on, uh, Actually, our main activities, as I said, we are registered as uh, exporters, but we we are like uh, we can call ourselves as the pioneers on uh, the Lolo side in Iringa for motivating these farmers to come up and uh, start uh, this uh, avocado farming on those areas. So. What I want to share with you right now, as uh, Madam Tula has said, that uh, this uh, uh, and uh, Iringa, also Njombe, and Njombe, they have started the area than uh, Iringa. But we as a company will be operating in both uh, in, in all of them. That will be, uh, we are like uh, dealing with all regions. And uh, meanwhile, we are also, like I said before, that we are informing some farmers, local farmers to so we like the whole zones is full with avocado. And then Madame Tula said that we have a best that is uh, no no in any place where there'll be a time uh, there'll be an uh, availability of avocado but uh, only in this uh, as uh, Mr. Tony has said that uh, the demand is higher than the production, especially in avocado. And after, thank you for this information as a company you are taking it and uh, soon we'll be visiting to your office for registration and everything. So also I want to appreciate for time's sake because we, we are beginners, let, I can say that, but you have been uh, receiving emails to do some quotation and uh, this is uh, all about the avocado which I can say, but uh, we want also some good cooperation from other companies and other farmers so at least we can boost our economy in our country. The big uh, purchaser was people from Kenya, but for this year, as I know, we had this challenge of Corona. So we have good numbers and they're actually uh, just lying over there. No one wants to buy except in local market. So if there's any buyer or whoever, we have a little, enough number, enough quantity of uh, fresh green beans for this year, and uh, green beans. And we as a Kilolo, 
will be glad if you save one person who will be like uh, who will want to, to do some uh, business with us. But in Avocado also, it's uh, still there is uh, some good numbers of Avocado. Up to uh, the current uh, status I got from today from the farms, you can get even 10 tons of avocado on this season from uh, from Kilolo myself. I don't know from other company. So the major challenge we are facing is like we are beginners in a good position to get the uh, good learnings and the experience. And then we will uh, exceed and we'll proceed and then we will boost to the economy of our country. So this is a, the other challenge is like uh, we only have one uh, export and the uh, price is much uh, a bit uh, expensive. So for government institution that can help us on uh, uh, connecting other or boosting other interest to do this package so we can get it in a very affordable price and we can sometimes we caught a very expensive price because of this package. So if this has been will be worked upon, then the price will come down, we can compete to the international market uh, on price based on price because now on a package, package is very expensive. Then this uh Jamana printer is the one who uh, so if you're a client waiting for your order, then and you know this is a Malindichi. Sometimes you can uh, have this good and then they can be destroyed. So all in all, what I want to appreciate, I want to appreciate Sunset for the big entry. We have a very good future on the agriculture industry. And uh, I believe we'll be doing good. Thank you. OK. Thank you very much, Dixon, for your presentation. I've got some questions for Taha. I hope um, my colleagues from Tantred have managed to, to capture those questions. But also, I've read that one of the participants said that it will be good to use um, Swahili also in order that the people they are, they are with they can also listen and understand. Thank you very much for taking time using this technology to sit there with your smallholder farmers or the people you're working with to listen to this meeting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to go through his presentation to make a, a summary, but in Swahili so that others also can understand what he was speaking. So, um, Tulikuwa tunamsikiliza kaka Dickson yeye anatoka kwenye kampuni ambayo inaitwa Kilolo Farm na hii kampuni inafanya kazi zake kule Kilolo lakini ofisi zao kwa Iringa. Um, wao ni kampuni mpya kabisa wamejirejista mwaka huu wanafanya kazi katika masuala ya kuzalisha matunda na mboga mboga na mboga asasa wanazozalisha nilivomsikia anasema wanazalisha green beans tunaita maharage machanga na pia wanazalisha avocado ya has na wao wamejirejesa kama kampuni ya kitanzania ambayo inasafirisha mazao yao kupeleka nje za nchi nchi za nje kwa hiyo wanasema msimu wao wa kuzalisha green beans usually ni kuanzia juni mpaka december na hapa kaka ameweka ameiweka vizuri kabisa kwamba yeye ana tafuta wanunuzi wa mazao yao. Kwa hiyo kama kuna mnunuzi ajitokeze na aweze kuwa connected na yeye aweze kupata hayo mazao. Na amesema pia kwamba kwa sasa wana tani kumi za avocado ya has iko Kilolo kwa hiyo mtu kama anahitaji anaweza akapata. Lakini yeye kama kampuni ya business mpya inayoanza amesema pia kwamba kuna kuna changamoto ambazo wanakutana nazo katika katika masuala haya ya kibiashara. Anashukuru sana kuona kwamba Tantred imewasaidia sana na ni vizuri kwamba leo amepata pia bahati ya kujua kwamba kuna watu kama Taha ambao wana experience na ambao wanaweza kutoa guidance lakini pia wewe una advantage nyingine nikiongeza kwamba 
Sagkot iko pia um, Southern Highlands na sisi pia tunaweza tukatoa assistance tuna ofisi zetu pale Mbe pale Iringa um, kwa hiyo Sagkot pia iko pale inaweza ikakuwa assist kwa sababu nafahamu kwamba kuna mtu mwingine anayezalisha green beans huko Kilolo ambaye tumefanya naye kazi kwa ukaribu sana mpaka akafika Kilolo anaitwa Adija Jibri Adija Jabir Jibri nadhani mnaifahamu hiyo kampuni pia tumekuwa tunafanya nao kazi lakini amesema pia shida kubwa sana ni kwamba anaiomba tan trade na serikali na wadau wengine waweze kusaidia upatikanaji wa matio kwa ajili ya kupaka kwa sababu unapokuwa unapeleka vitu huku katika nchi hizi zetu kuna standards standards zinaanzia sio tu za ile um, ule mzigo wa bidhaa unayopeleka pia jinsi unavopack ya ile bidhaa yani unavo unavoifungasha ile bidhaa kwa hiyo anasema vifungashio ni ghali sana na kwa bahati mbaya kuna mahali ambapo wananunua vifungashio na huyu ni mtu mmoja tu anazalisha hizo vifungashio vya vinavyotakiwa kwa viwango vile vya kimataifa nadhani na kwa maana hiyo unakuta mara nyingine anakuwa na oda nyingi unataka kifungashio leo lakini unaambiwa utapewa miezi mitatu ijayo na bidhaa yake yeye ni bidhaa tunaita perisha ambayo inaharibika haraka kwa hiyo anaomba sana utaratibu ufanyike ili tuweze kupata wazalishaji wengine zaidi wa vifungashio kwa hiyo nadhani kwa sisi uliokaa hapa tayari hiyo pia business opportunity inajitokeza kwamba jamani vifungashio vinahitajika wengi wana ingiza vifungashio kutoka nchi za nje ambavyo vinakuwa ni ghali sana na kwa biashara inayoanza inakuwa ngumu. Alafu pia ameshukuru sana juhudi zote ambazo zinafanywa na Tantrade na corporation inafanya na Tantrade hata kuweza kum, kumpresent yeye katika mkutano au katika hadhara hii hapa ambayo tupo. Nashukuru sana kwa presentation yako kaka Dickson. Um, naomba dada Nora kama kuna maswali yoyote muweze kutusomea ili wenzetu wa um, Kilolo Farm na pia wenzetu wa Taha waweze ku, kuyajibu wale maswali. Nimeona kuna maswali mengi tu kuhusu Taha. Kwa hiyo naomba tuchukue tu, muda huu kuyajibu wale maswali ili tuendelee na ratiba. Na Actually baada ya kujibu hayo maswali naomba Madam Mary kutoka Wizara ya Kilimo amefanikiwa kujiunga na sisi ajiandae presentation yake ndio itafuatia. Asanteni. Kwa hiyo turn trade naomba muendelee. yeye ana ni, anasema ni mkulima wa nyanya anapenda kujua mwenendo wa soko kwa mwaka mwenendo wa soko kwa mwaka mzima na bei zake ah labda hilo shortly tunaweza tukasema kwamba anaweza tunaomba tumpe contact zetu alafu tuwasiliane naye baadaye anaweza akanipigia simu namba 0755 tano saba tano naitwa dada Nora tutampa majibu baadaye ile swali lake la nyanya lakini pia hapa kulikuwa na maswali ya au maoni ya Kilolo Farm na ta wanaongea habari ya nani ya mabox ya kupakia mizigo mtu wa pili ambaye tunamwona hapa ni Bopai yeye anasema ni kiwanda cha mabox yuko Hug Road na anaweza kupatikana kwa namba 0677 Hii ni box factory ambayo iko Dar es Salaam maeneo ya Pug Road. Narudia tena namba yake ni 0677009333. Lakini pia nina kamugisha ya yeah, anasema involvement avocado ya yeah, na sana sana ya yeah, anasema anaishukuru taa kwa kazi ambayo wamekuwa wakifanya 
na hiyo ya pack house ni njombo lakini anahitaji kujua kwamba ni product gani nyingine za mboga mboga na matunda tunaweza tukafanya kwa ajili ya ku export kuacha paratichi lakini nafikiri ni kwa nani Mr Anton Wataha anaweza akatupa maelezo zaidi baada ya mimi kumaliza lakini tuna mtu mwingine anaitwa anaitwa Tom Wawuya yeye ana yeye yeah, anashukuru tu kwa kuwa sehemu ya humfu sana na tuna Mr. Tahir, Mr. Tahir yeye anaomba mkutano uwe kwa lugha zote za Kiingereza na Kiswahili. Asante Mr. Tahir kwa hilo. Alafu tuna avocado chili pokoko. Tanzania zinakuwa zinakwenda Kenya na value yake ya export alafu pia anataka kufahamu proper procedures of export of horticulture products from Tanzania kwa hiyo anataka kujua um, kama unataka ku export ni, 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 ni hatua gani unatakiwa uzichukue alafu anasema how to understand the global market price on a daily basis of horticulture produce kwa so yeye angependa kujua kila siku bei za uh, uh, bidhaa za hotikacha kwenye duniani huko anazipata vipi um, how to understand the local processing and value addition opportunities of our hotikacha products angependa pia kufahamu au kuelewa ni vipi aelewe maswala ya ku, ya kuongeza thamani na pia maswala ya kuchakata um, um products za hotikacha hapa Tanzania um uh, opportunity ni zipi yani fursa ni zipi um Anthony haya maswali yako kwenye Zoom group chat kwa sababu ni mengi kidogo ningeomba ukae chini uyatafutie majibu and then baadaye tutatoa nafasi uweze ku uweze ku, kum, kumjibu mwenzetu um Mutsad Ad, Adam J ambaye ame ame ameuliza hayo maswali. Haya, ili tu, tusipoteze muda sana naomba ni mkaribishe um mwenzetu Madam Mary kutoka Wizara ya Kilimo aweze ku kupresent um wasilisho lake. Naomba mruhusu Madam Mary aweze ku present na naomba Taha mweze kujibu hayo maswali ambayo yameuliza na pia um, na lile swali pia la mwenzetu kamujisha ambalo wenzetu wa Tam Trade wame, wamejibu na wenzangu wa Tam Trade lile swali ambalo mmeulizwa ningeomba nalo mliandalie majibu ili watu wote waweze kufaidika kwa sababu hapa naona wamekaa watu ambao wanahitaji ku kujua opportunity zipo wapi changamoto zipo wapi ili waweze kufanya um, decisions za business ili tuweze kukuza hii tasnia yetu ya hotikacha hapa Tanzania. Haya asante karibu Wizara ya Kilimo. 
Uh, asante sana. Hello. Hello, tunakusikia? Ah, okay. Yeah. Habari asubuhi. Ah, uh, naitwa Maria Alice Mtui nafanya kazi wizara ya kilimo sehemu ya masoko ya mazao ya kilimo. Kwa jumla nitapenda kuzungumzia sehemu mbili ambapo ni challenges and opportunities kwenye avocado subsector within the country. Uh, kwa upande wa statistics ya how much they grow and are like zinapatikana kwenye kwenye mitandao and so anyone can access it at any time so to go straight to the to, to the discussion or with the presentation that I want to deliver uh nitaanza na upande wa challenges uh, kikubwa cha kwanza ni ili kuweza kupata soko la uhakika katika 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 mazao ambayo ni emerging crop katika masoko ya nje ni vizuri kuwa na kitu ambacho ni kilimo cha mkataba au contract farming na lengo hasa hili ni kugaranti upande wa wa, wa wa production na pia na upande wa marketing as all we know that the contract farming is beneficial especially kwa wakulima wetu gasa kwa beginners hata na wale wanaoendelea hasa katika ku address challenge ya quantity and quality constraint na kwa kupitia contract farming au wakulima wanaweza in one way or another waka waka waka, waka address some challenges kama upatikanaji wa mbegu upatikanaji wa extension services na upatikanaji wa, wa, wa masoko ya uhakika ambapo hizi contract wanaweza wakaingia na zile exporting and companies ambao wameinvest ndani ya nchi i'm referring to exporting companies and not the trading companies wale wanaokuja only during season au apana au wanaochukua trading models hapana waingie na wale ambao tayari wameinvest within the country and they are focused katika kuendeleza zao and they will be there to help ila tatizo linakuja kwamba ndile breach of contract ndo inakuwa more of the challenge kwamba mtu amekubaliana atanunua kwa kilo tano lakini nafika msimu wa mavuno anakuja mwingine ananunua kwa 1800 kwa ile gap ya ya shilingi ya tatu others they tend to, to to breach the contract ambayo inaleta challenges lakini if as a country we can we can we can stick on the contract that we have entered then in one way or another we can move this sector ahead kwa upande wa contract it has its benefit that one and the secondly it will help the farmers but the issue is how to guarantee those contracts kwa ajili ya nani kwa ajili ya kuendeleza sector jambo la pili na hili limetokea pia kwa wafanyabiashara wakubwa ambao ni exporting companies katika wilaya ya Rungwe that's one upande wa na wameangalia kwa namna moja uh, how to reduce that how, how to address that na sijafuatilia so far how did they, they make it kwa hiyo maybe later on tukiwa na majibu naweza kusaidia uh, swala la pili ni global gap compliance uh, hizi hapa ni kwa ajili ya is compliance kuna several certification schemes ambazo zote zimelenga katika kulinda mm, afya ya mlaji pia na mazingira lakini in one way or another there are some challenges katika ku, 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 kuweza kuzi address hizi hizi global gap compliance 
especially quality of crop production within the country. Mfano, nani land holding ni ndogo na nature wa kulima uko disintegrated kwamba moja hapo mwingine pale na nini na scale of operation pia ni ndogo kwa uwezo ukaenda labda una kunakuwa na challenges ya kufanya farm auditing ya mtu ambaye ana miti kumi ya mikorachichi au ambaye ameotesha tu mpakani and something like that lakini sababu kuna mengi yanayoendelea katika dunia ya Ulaya na nini wametoa hata ile group compliance yes, ni kama ni mwaka jana kama sijakosea ambayo inaruhusu hata group of farmer kama wataweza kaa ndani ya ya nani moja ya ya hizi sijui ni amkoso whatever kikundi wakafanya wakafanywa farm auditing pamoja alafu baada hapo ikawasaidia kwa ah, kuna kingine pia kwenye global group na ni gap compliance hiyo ni nani hii ni hiyo good agricultural practice general lakini kuna wale wanaitaji organic certification kuna ingine green forest alliance and the like and some other companies have started to invest in Tanzania we take an example of Taha Fresh ambao wameanza ta certificate kwa hiyo wanaweza wakasaidia kwa namna moja au nyingine katika kusaidia katika certification schools ambao na hii ni moja ambayo inafanyika and if there are others it is an opportunity kwa ajili ya kufikia masoko ya huko. Lingine ni logistic issues as a country we are facing this challenge. Uh, on the logistic issues most of the of our products they pass through uh, Mombasa na ukiangalia port na ukiangalia most of the na ni comparison in terms of time along the uh, along the sea it's only 21 days to reach in europe ambao ni sawa na na, na na dar es salaam port lakini kuna some few issues as a country we need to address especially kwenye matumizi ya ya uwanja wa wa ndege labda ule wa kia wa nani hii wa songwe kwa labda na hiyo nani hii cargo cargo na ni flight kwa ajili ya kuchukua mizigo so it's expensive na pia na kurekebisha cha some kwa address some issues kwenye 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 matumizi ya bandari yetu ya Dar es Salaam so i can't go into details sababu najua mamlaka usika ipo maybe it will wanaweza wakalizungumzia hilo wao zaidi lakini inaonekana it's more convenient kwa kampuni zinazofanya usafirishaji wa mazao kutoka Tanzania kwenda ilo soko la Ulaya mostly zinatumia bandari ya Mombasa na uwanja wa ndege wa Nairobi Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Kwa hiyo imani wao another as a country this is a challenge and I'm hoping kwamba kuna juhudi mbalimbali ambazo zinafanyika and uh, it will be there it will take some time but uh, we'll reach there. Kitu kingine fertilizer application kwenye zao la parachichi lina application nyingi sana za za, za mbolea kwa ajili ya ya nani almost 8 to nani almost 8 by nani hii round za kuweka unakuta labda unatakiwa uweke labda mijingu phosphate in july unatakiwa uweke borax February, May, August na November unatakiwa uweke zinc sulfate on May unatakiwa uweke sulfate of potash on April on April to July then you need to put kenen pikea sulfacan oh notable kwenye November na December afu kuna unatakiwa uweke copper oxychloride on November and December afu kuna KZ flower dawa June to August afu kuna borax spray June to August afu kuna bulldog au, au thunder insecticide August to December 
kuna swine hizo kazi nyingine so looking at this it is a bit tiresome in one way or another kwa hiyo we need to combine yani tungepata kiwanda ambacho kinaweza kuka ika kufanya ile nani mchanganyiko hata wambolea mbili au tatu kupunguza ile rotation ya kuingia shambani every now and then kwa ajili ya ku ya ku ya ku ya ku ya ku ya kuweka swala ya kuweka mbolea shambani uh, wengine watauliza kwa nini naweka mbolea na nini it doesn't mean kwamba unapoambia ni organic farming haitumi kabisa mbolea au haweki vizuizi vyote lakini unaika at very minimal and at a recommended amount isio athiri mlaji afya mlaji na pia mazingira kwa hiyo in one way or another ili uweze kupata product zizo bora utahitaji kutumia hivi uh, viatilifu lakini katika matumizi hivi viatilifu utahitaji pia uviweke kwa ratiba sasa hiyo ratiba it's a bit long na inaweza kasumbua baadhi ya wakulima wakashindwa ku follow along the way kwa hiyo the better thing ni ku ni kuangalia namna ya ku ya ku combine labda mbolea mbili au tatu zikazi na yako pamoja pamoja kingine avocado ni zao ambalo lini niche kwa hiyo sasa kitu ambacho ninawaza kwa namna moja au nyingine kwamba halijapata usimamizi kama mazao mengine like uh, like korosho au mbaku kama hizi ya mazao ambayo yana yana bodi za mazao though they are the government is working on it ambapo tunafikiria kama wizara kwa kushirikiana na kandari inaweza kaanzishwa taasisi imeshafikiriwa kuanzishwa taasisi ambayo itahusika na mazao ya ambayo hayana bodi structure na nini ni still haiko uh, open na haijawa decided lakini usimamizi wa mazao umeweza kufikiriwa mazao mazao moja hapo horticulture ambapo avocado iko ndani yake <coughs> swala lingine ni land scarcity kwa mfano <coughs> tunasema tuna plenty of land lakini kwa mfano kama tukuyu you can see kuna struggle kwa kule kuna mazao mengi ambayo yanastawi kuna kokoa kuna viazi kuna kahawa kuna chai kuna mazao ya misitu afu kuna avocado so you can think of this farmer dealing with this uh, enterprise na nini lakini kuna sehemu nyingine ambapo <coughs> land is not a issue especially maeneo ya iringa na maeneo ya ya njombe ileje labda na na mbozi kwa hiyo in one way or another unaweza ka ile swala la ardhi <coughs> inaweza ikawa sio issue katika maeneo baadhi lakini katika maeneo mengine likawa ni issue na nyingine kuna huu mdudu force cob moss ambaye pia ni threat katika soko la kimataifa sababu utaambiwa kwamba it doesn't need to have uh, any mechanical injury pia hata still affected shambani wala katika wakati wa uhifadhi usiwe na effect ya wadudu na kadhalika kwa mdudu ni yule ambaye anapekecha na kusababisha unga fulani uvu mweupe mweupe kwa in one way or another ni threat na aliwahi kutokea na aliwekwa majaribio kwenye baadhi ya mashamba ya wakulima na na katika nyanda za juu kusini na pia hata Kilimanjaro and they did that na uh, wameza ku control one or another as a country to take uh, some measures and hopeful kwamba in one way or another ili ilisaidia kwa upande wa challenges naona nizunishie hapo there are many lakini naona hizo ni critical ambao kuna hiyo contract farming global gap compliance logistic issues fertilizer application lack of control body lending scarcity to some areas na infestation of false cold limbs kama mdudu ambao ni threat katika zao letu la kurajiti lakini 
Nikuja kwenye upande wa opportunities. Kwenye upande wa opportunities ziko nyingi. Mfano elezea zile ambazo kweli ni potential. Kwa mfano ujenzi wa tunahitaji sana workhouses. Kama uwekezaji ndani ya nchi uh, we need to have those spark houses ambazo zitakuwa pia na storage maeneo ku store three spark houses Mashauri ya rungwe na ngine mbili moja ni ya rungwe avocado na nyingine ni ya kuza Afrika so tukiangalia potential ya ya vegetables na na nini hii inaonesha kwa kiasi fulani we are missing that kwa hiyo kuna potential kubwa ya uwekezaji katika park au construction za hizo park houses ambazo zinaweza zikawa zinafundishwa kwa msimu kama msimu wa parachuchu kiisha basi naweza katumika kwa ajili ya kupaki mazao mengine kama nyanya vitu na hii mboga mboga hizi nyingine viazi na kadhalika kwa hiyo ni nzuri sana na hii inamaanisha kwamba hata ile ambayo tumeshindwa kupaka hapa Tanzania na nini inamaanisha kwamba tuna miss opportunity kwa mfano kama employment ya wale watu kwa sisi tukibarua na ripo shilingi kumi kwenye park house during peak season alafu kija kukuta kwamba kuna kuwa na nani hii hata zile mashauri za hazina zinapo zina producers na vitu kama hivyo technical au knowledge ya ya, ya zao la parachichi kwanza uzalishaji mpaka mpaka uzaji na kuwa tuna miss kwa hiyo kitu kama hicho it needs to be addressed Uh, opportunity nyingine kubwa ambayo tumenayo as a country we are best to have um, we uh, cooperative advantage na kuna na nihi presenter mmoja ameshazungumzia when we talk about competitive advantage it still hatuna as a country but as a cooperative advantage tunayo kwa sababu ya na nihi ya ya nature kwamba kwanza kwa chichi letu na kwa exposed to the sun kwa hiyo tunapata ile oil content na nini na kuwa vizuri hata ile dry matter content ambayo inatokuwa ile asilimia na moja na nane inakuepo vizuri pia msimu ambao tunaingia sokoni ni msimu ambao tunapishana <coughs> hasa kwa parachichi ya njongwe iringa ni ya nyanda za juu kusini iringa southern highlands au la iringa njombe na kidogo tukuyu kuna na there kwa kiasi fulani tunaingia sokoni wakati Peru, Mexico na New Zealand wako all in season yani wako off season kwa hiyo kwa mantiki hii unakuta kwamba parachichi inakuwa scarce sokoni alafu ya kwetu ina ubora mzuri tasty na nini kwa hiyo tumebarikiwa kwenye hilo kama tukiweza tuki upscale mashamba yetu na tuweza ku export moja kwa moja kwenda mpaka kwenye hizo nchi ambazo zinatumia parachichi kwa wingi mfano jumuiya Ulaya na nini itatusaidia kwa namna moja au nyingine kwa sababu tuna tumebarikiwa that's that's nature it's, it's a gift from mother nature and we should we should be proud of it and take a opportunity to utilize it na jambo lingine construction of agro processing industry. Uh, kuna baadhi ya parachichi nyingi tu ambazo zinakuwa zimebakia. Kwa mfano miparachichi yetu sisi ni mirefu sana. Yaani zile parent stock kiangalia wanavyo wanavyo parachichi hizi hapa. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. Um mm. someone should be muted. Someone should be muted. Yeah. Okay, the Mary and the Yeah. Kwa hiyo kwenye upande wa lingine swala lingine ambalo nilikuwa naliona ni construction of agro processing industries. We really need to to to, to take it as an opportunity as a country 
sababu kuna parachichi nyingi sana ambazo zinabakiaga pia ambazo hazia qualify kwenda katika ilo soko la wenzetu sababu watakwambia inatakiwa isiwe imekuagrizwa isiwe imepeketwa isiwe ifanyaje kwa hiyo kwa namna moja hadi au nyingine inaleta ina, ina, ina effect kwa hiyo kwa zile ili kulikoni zibakie zioze au zifanyeje mtu anaweza kaza kutumika au ile akatengeneza ile request ikatumika katika matumizi mengine ukapata mafuta kwa chiti ambao ni gharama na ni anauzo kwa kwa bei kubwa na nini na ikatusaidia kwa hiyo kwa haraka haraka hayo ni maeneo makubwa ya uwekezaji and if we can address the mentioned challenge i call them as a challenge because they are within our capability as a country as a nation if the system will work kimiko yani tukafanya kazi pamoja wizara ya kilimo wizara ya viwanda wizara 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 zote na private stakeholders wote tukashirikiana vizuri tuka address matatizo machache changamoto chache ambazo zinazitaja then tuka focus pia katika uwekezaji wa hizo opportunity kubwa maana wao hawana inaweza kusaidia nchi ku move forward katika 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 uwekezaji wa ile zao la parachichi it's really good uh, ni zao nzuri lina future tu nzuri lakini kuna mambo ambayo kama nchi tunatakiwa ki address ili tuweze kusolve that's all okay asante sana maria kwa presentation yako um ningeomba tu ni um nirudi ku ku present um kiingereza kwa sababu ilikuwa almost 95% ilikuwa ya Kiswahili ili wenzetu wengine waweze ku um kufahamu na pia nitaomba kitu kimoja kama nilivyosema kwamba sisi kama support tunafanya kazi Southern Agricultural Corridor of Tanzania kuna baadhi ya information ambazo tunazo kwa kuna vitu ambavyo vinajitokeza katika maelezo based on status status quo ya um, hii kazi na maeneo ambayo mingi ya dangwa ame, ame ni yale ya kule Southern Islands um, so we had a presentation from Maria Mtui from the Ministry of Agriculture as you know the Ministry of Agriculture is responsible for um production of all here in Tanzania and she has touched um, very important areas especially what are the challenges and what are the opportunities i thank you for that that um you know sometimes when you see a challenge for someone else is an opportunity so these are the things which always we needed to we needed to discuss and we need to share so um she has mentioned several challenges one of the challenges she mentioned is um that so far we have not been able to manage to satisfy the market with good quality and good quantity of products consistently so um the minister of agriculture or from her presentation she mentioned that they are advising that farmers should have contract farming so through contract farming you can get a guarantee of how much um is there and how much um or how the quality is but she went further telling us that um when you have this contract farming whereby a buyer has a contract with a farmer of a group of farmers it is easier for the farmers actually that will address the quality issue it is easier for the farmers to get um seedlings because she was specifically discussing about avocado to get seedlings to get extension services and these extension services can be those given by the government or also the private sector and um also she insisted that when we are speaking about contract farming should be with exporting companies those companies who will support the farmers from production 
to the to the market, whereby they will su support them to get, for example, she mentioned about certification and those kind of services, and in not trading company. That is a major challenge we have in Southern Highlands nowadays. There are some company will come during the season, they raise the prices higher, and the farmers, of, of course, they are business people. They need money. So they will go and sell their products and breach the contract, and that is something she has mentioned as a major challenge we have so far, that um, farmers are not always handling their contract with those that they are working with. So we need to work together here to see how this issue is supposed to be to be addressed. So um, another challenge he said, she said, is about global gap compliance. If you want to export your product, you need to 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 to, man, to manage some guidelines. So she man, she said that these uh, certification uh, schemes um, there for consumer um, protection and also to manage the issue of um, environmental sustainability. Actually, uh, Mary, I want to add here. Now we are having this meeting because of something called Corona. So where we are going now, these, um, these certification or the quality of produce is not only for what we are exporting, but also we need good quality food. Corona has taught us that. So I think it is now a call to everybody to, to be very conscious on, on that. So she also mentioned this, this certification can be very expensive and can be very difficult to manage. For example, a farmer has only 10 trees, another one, five trees. But the compliance um, people have agreed nowadays to have a group of farmers whereby they are working together and you can do such certif uh, certification for all of these farmers. So you are taking me somewhere else. As we are, um, we have Dixon Danga, Danga here. She, he is saying that he is having green beans. So what you are trying to say, in other words, we now have to start thinking of working in block farms. Block farms not only in avocado, but also in other crops, so that we can, we can, um, we can um, as a country, we can um, provide good quality and good quantity in a block farm. So we have to work together. Most of the time, farmers have worked with them are not ready to work together, but where we are going now, we need to work together. And it is easier for someone who will come to buy their products. So she also mentioned that there are some um, certifications, for example, Global Gap, and we have also organic certifications, and also there are Rainforest Alliance certifications for crops like, like, like tea, crops like coffee, and other and other tea crops and she also mentioned for those who need the certification so here they are good news taha ruta fresh they are also providing certification anthony when you are you are you are responding to questions i will um appreciate if you will share the contract of taha fresh so that people here they can have that contract so those who need to do certification they contact the tar fresh. Another challenge she mentioned, it is logistic. Um, for logistics, she was very specific that, you know, so far we are taking our products to Mombasa or we are taking to Jomo Kenyatta um, Airport and it takes 21 days to take the, the produce, for example, for Europe, which is our biggest market or largest market. But yet we have our... Um, Da, da, uh, da port, and also she mentioned about Songwe Airport. Actually, that is where I work, and I appreciate that you've mentioned that. Um, and uh, so we do have opportunity just to update you regarding Songwe Airport. Uh, the government of Tanzania is working very hard to make sure that the Songwe Airport in our days will start serving um, our farm produce and Songwe Airport, apart from 
being where it is, it is a natural route. If you didn't know, it is a natural route for South, South Africa, South Africans, the Sadic countries. So it has the potential to become the, the, the next hub after Nairobi and, and, um, and, and, um, and Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. So um, as I'm talking, I know that there is um, a contractor there. They are already upgrading that airport so that we can start using it for, for agriculture produce. Um, she also mentioned about a, a fertilizer application. That is a challenge that uh, you need to apply a lot of fertilizers for avocado. Um, she's someone from, 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 uh, from Ministry of Agriculture. So in those terms, I didn't get everything, but I counted you need at least for one season, not less than 10 times you have to apply either fertilizers or other, other chemicals. So she said that there is opportunity to have a, a factory if, if possible for those who are, who are producing um, fertilizers just to blend this, these fertilizers, to put them together so that a farmer is not getting confused to have so many applications of fertilizers. By doing so, we can also destroy the quality of our, our produce. Um, another thing she mentioned was, I like it very much. We lack a control body for that. Of course, we have Taha. But also, as the government, they need to have such um, so, such um, um, an institution that it can control. You are very true. As I'm talking so far, we have another product like potato. Everybody eats potato here, but so far we don't have even a potato national um, national strategy as of now. Something which is um, which is is not um, is not good. So we need such a body so that we can our produce can be controlled and over someone can oversee them from the government point of view. She mentioned also land scarcity that um, there are some areas like Tukuyu that is very true um, that there is no land, but there are other areas like in Jombe because where we have enough land for production. She mentioned also about pests, but thank God she gave us here an update that there was a pest called Foscadi Limos. No. Um, Foscodling. Fosco? Codling. Codling. Okay, Foscodling. Moss. Um, okay, okay, moss. Ah, those mm. words are a little bit difficult, but. She gave us a good news here that 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 pest has been controlled, but once it happens to be there, so that is also a good a good information that uh, that is still the Ministry of Agriculture is having um, a very close eye on these crops, and she went further and mentioned some opportunities. The first opportunity, and this is true, is a major opportunity: a pack houses and which have called the rooms to to store um to store and to not only usually these pack houses are used for grading and for packaging of the products to go to the market so that is an opportunity and another opportunity as i said before is that our our avocado is very good compared to others of course here in Europe, if you go to supermarket, you will come and find a lot of avocado from Peru. But those are the avocado they are forcing. They, they don't use nature. So, you know, something which is being produced using nature and those things we are trying to, to simulate or to manipulate, usually they don't give the same quality. So um, we have better opportunities than others as we have comparative uh, advantages in terms of um, seasonality. And the last one opportunity she mentioned, it is agro-processing industry. I think that you just mentioned it, not only that we need it, but you have explained that there are some parachichi or avocado which are not good for table, table crop either for local market, even for export. So those ones are being waste, but still they can be used 
to produce avocado, um, avocado oil. I would like also to inform you all, if you are not informed, that um, in the Southern Highlands, we have um, Sarkot has a partner called Olivado. Olivado is one of the biggest avocado processor in the world. They, are, um, they have a, a factory in, uh, in Wanginombe. And one of the challenges they, they have now is to get, um, to get um, enough parachichi. They have a capacity of producing per week uh, 16 tons of avocado oil. And this avocado is being exported to New Zealand, whereby they produce more than um, 30 products. And the, those products are going to more than 35 countries. So people, especially parachichi or avocado growers, we are proud of you because you are in Tanzanian, Tanzanian mean to a lot of countries. So um, that is where she ended. Thank you very much for a very good presentation, as like all other who has, have presented now. Um, I've seen some questions. I hope my colleagues from Hundred, for example, I saw the question from Madam Wilfrida was asking Taha, how can they get um, export markets and so on and so forth. So um, I don't know if you have captured all the questions and if uh, those who have to respond, they are ready or we have to continue and later they have to respond. Um, Dadanora, Dadanora, can you advise on this? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, thank you very much for that um, guidance and the directive. Um, we are now having someone from the difficult area. Yeye mwenzetu anataka tuambie kuhusu pilipili want you to tell us about chili. So, um, I hope um, you are you are ready. Habanero chili availability from Trivin Farm, Mr. Vincent Pascal. Yeah, yeah. You are welcome. We are waiting for your presentation. I'm, I'm quite interested also myself. I know South, West Africa, they eat a lot of chili, but we in, in East Africa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you, madam. My my name is Vincent, but I'm coming from, my company is called Trivin Farm. We are dealing with a banero chili pepper with the samples like the one you put here. Uh, it's here. Ah, okay. It yeah. Is paper. Okay. Yeah, it's a paper. Uh -huh. So we are, we are we are farming this paper around Zua in in Iringa, and for now we are we are we have already entered to the market European market. We have. Now we are, I can take the, I can say the habanero chili, it's, the origin is come from the Amazon. Then, uh, then uh, from which it was breed around Mes Mexico. Up to now we are, we are having it around Africa now, so already spread around the world. Also this chili, it's a very chill pepper and it's very hot and also it's, it smell well. So we are, uh, since we are starting farming this paper, 
we are facing few challenge and most challenge we we face a, a lot challenge in marketing marketing was a main problem because when we started farming we were farming before having a, a market already so we have to we have to suffer a lot to get a market but now we have already we have already get a market but also it's not a stability market so we have just supply but we don't have the stability market so we are now looking we are still looking for a stable market which we can supply to them then what i can say in what in when demand this chill is it has a lot of demands around the world the, of, of course the culture exchange between between central european countries mm -hmm. and eastern european has has to lead this to an increased demand for banero paper you have seen most of people most of people they are eat, they are eating this paper and most of them this coming from asia mm -hmm. they are just like this paper and this this our paper it's a, a the the seed is originated from rwanda we took this seed from rwanda and it's it's doing it well on the farm and it's very nice that's why we are using this to compare with this f1 breed seeds this seed, this our seed is not this hybrid seed so it's just the 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 seed which was local behind those days along along so another another word word demand in the last two years we have we have seen increase in in the demand depending on the market higher sales than in previous years so this thing it has a lot of opportunities and the demand is very high then we were facing up we have you have, there is there is some opportunity you have like the there is a plenty areas around the our country like tanzania like sorry like iringa rua basin there is a lot of of space area that's why you can take a lot even if you have to to plant to farming like like 100 acres you can get there and people there is they you can get a very cheap the run you can rent you can buy it's depending with you and they we are farming using irrigation system also i can say this this abanero is very easy to farm because it doesn't take a lot of doesn't take a lot of it's not disturbing like it compare with other horticulture products like tomato like other this when you when you enter the seeds on the on the ground you wait like three months and then you start harvest then when you start harvest you bring harvest more than a year so it de depends the way you you feed the the plants so i can i can say then the, we lack the problem which we face around the area we face the pro problem of modern farming technology because for us we are just using the local and we don't have the technology which is can we can make us to do the the, the work go faster so that is a problem which we face also we lack the problem of financial we we when we don't get a loan from financial institutes like different banking because most of us we are don't we don't have the trust from different source of of financial institutes so that is uh, another problem also we lack uh, we also we have a problem of lack of markets and also we, we thank god sanku for turn trade we just they just try to to bring us together and show us the way to pass where we can reach a, a market so i, I just think turn trade they just do their best to make us go far so i just thank them then I, I i want to suggest the government we can put more efforts and make effort to help farmers because there is a lot of people who are doing very issue very big issue but they they don't they don't get a government support that is another problem so we we suggest the government could come then you put this the help 
farmers so that I can say. And then there is an, another issue which I can say is the last time we used to, to farming as the organic, so we don't use the different different fertilizer. So we, we just use the, the this animal 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 manure. So we use manum, animal manure. We used to, to farm that, but we have realized that to to make it organic is also hard. The thing which they want, then you have to produce as we are going slow, slow to cover the the market. But that is all what I can say. I thank Tan Trade for giving this opportunity to present so we can share the few the few which we have. We have been in this market now for one year now. And now we have already started exporting the chill to UK, United Kingdom, we are to help other farmers. That's all. So thank you. That is what I have to share. Okay. Thank you very much for your presentation. Um, you. It has been a very good presentation um, recent. Um, just um, to make a summary in Swahili, yes. because it was in English, um, Vincent ame, ame present yapa kwa sababu nzuri sana. Na hii pilipili, yeye wameipata kutoka Mexico. Na kama nilimsikia sawasawa, anasema wame, wame peleka maboxi 35 um, ulaya, ya kuwa siyelewa maboxi yenyewe ni ya ukubwa gani ya how much? 334. 334. 334. Yeah. 334. And how big? How much is is inside that box? How many tons? One box we charge 3.5 kilo. Oh, okay. Yeah. And okay. The, and the whole package it has one ton. Those three and three four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, wanasema wamepeleka maboxi 334 ambayo kila box lina kama kilo lina kilo 3.5 na hii hii hi pilipili wao wameipata kutoka Mexico. Sasa ameeleza ame kwamba kuna 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 changamoto wanazozipata sana sana katika masoko. Anasema kwamba walianza kulima bila kutafuta soko. Hilo liwe fundisho kwa wengine. Lakini Kwa sasa wamepata soko, lakini bado soko haliko, um, ni soko ambalo bado wanaendelea, wanaona linakuwa lina vizuri, lakini haligiawa um, stable. Na pia amesema kwamba, wamekuja kugundua kwamba kuna, kuna fursa, kwamba um, hii pilipili inaitajika sana, especially maeneo ya Europe ya kati na maeneo ya mashariki, na pia inaliwa sana huko maeneo ya Asia na walipata sasa hii pia ni changamoto pia kwamba hii mbegu walienda kuipata Rwanda ndio huko wameipata na ni mbegu ambayo sio hizi mbegu zetu za kisasa hizi hybrid na anaposema ni kwamba anaona kwamba ma, 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 wa, wanazidi kuongeza mauzo toka walipoanza mpaka sasa Na pia amishauri kwamba kuna maeneo ambayo ya na, mae, ya na sehemu ambazo mtu unaweza ukajina kama vile kwenye maeneo ya ruwa. Kwa hiyo nadhani naongea maeneo ya, ya iringa huko na mtu unaweza ukapata hata hekali mia za kulima. Na amesema kwamba ukipanda uumea unachukua, uh, unachukua miezi mitatu. Kiyo miezi mitatu kelea kuwa unavuna mpaka kama mamoja. Lakini amesema kuna chamoto zingi wanazo mfano teknolojia wanazozitumia kwenye uzalishaji bado sio teknolojia za kisasa na pia amesema kama vile ambavyo wengi sana wanapata hili tatizo ni kwamba wanashindwa kuaminika na kupewa fedha kwenye mabenki kwa sababu hawana dhamana na pia amesema kumekuwa na shida ya kupata masoko lakini wanawashukuru sana Tan Trade kwa kuwasaidia kupata masoko Na vijana ni wapenda kidogo wamekuwa wana, wana, wanafanya experiment yani wanajaribu vitu vingine wakajaribu pia kufanya kilimo cha kilimo hai lakini akagundua kwamba kidogo kina ni, ni kigumu 
of course ugumu ambao yeye ameumesha ame ni kama nilivyomuelewa ni kwamba mazao yale unavyoyapata kwa sababu unafanya kilimo hai na unabidi ujifunze vitu vingi hayakuwa mengi kama vile ambavyo walitaka na hapa yeye eh, presentation yake nyota ya mambo alio alio present anatafuta masoko anataka apate mwadia mm. au watu ambao wanaweza wakafanya naye biashara ili aweze kupata hayo masoko ya huko nchi za nje so nadhani hapo tumeenda vizuri na naona kwamba kuna sehemu ya tulitakiwa tufanye break lakini kwa sababu ya muda tulionao nadhani tunaweza tukamaliza hizi uh, masaa mawili bila kuwa na break yoyote kwa hiyo ningeomba tumkaribishe mwenzetu Mr. Mshana anayetoka uh, do elif agree aweze kutupa testimony yake na kaka mshana una kama dakika tano tu ambazo unatakiwa utupe hiyo testimony um, uh, and then um, tutaendelea nitaomba baada yake mwenzangu um, Mr. Arnold Janki ajiandae so now we will we'll, we'll continue with that from Lisa Food you are welcome to tell us about access to Europe market through Lisa Food company So um welcome um Mr. Mshana. Okay. Um because Mr. Mshana is preparing himself and we don't have much time. Let allow and I'll record you communicate with, with the secretariat. Let me allow Mr. Ano Janki to present as Mr. Mshana is, is preparing himself. Mr. Anot. Good morning. I saw him. Yes, you have around eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yes. Okay, no problem. Thanks you for the invitation. Do you see me all? Do you hear me all? Yes. Ah, okay, perfect. Thanks for inviting me to this meeting. Uh, I will give you a short description uh, of our company. Uh, we started in 2003. Uh, we are based in Holland, uh, specialized in uh, specializing in, in uh, ethnic foods. Uh, our main crop at this moment uh, is uh, habanero, uh, which we grow ourselves uh, in, in Holland. Uh, it's a seasonal uh, product. Uh, and afterwards uh, some other countries are also producing in Europe like uh, Spain, Italy, France and Portugal. Uh, this lasts normally till till November then the production uh, uh, goes down over here into the market and then the market is uh, European market is open for import. So uh, towards uh, habanero it's uh, it's very essential to have a good timing. Uh, I know the farmers uh, would like to have a crop which they could sell in year round uh, but the, the the majority and the volume uh, which is needed into Europe uh, from import uh, habaneros is from November till May it does not mean that uh, uh, outside this period there is no need uh, of this habanero uh, but the volumes will be uh, smaller Uh, this is our main product, uh, Habanero, uh, which we started in 2003. Uh, now uh, we are one of the main suppliers uh, through Europe uh, with our uh, greenhouse product grown in Holland. Uh, but we supply also other products uh, like ginger, sweet potatoes, avocados, uh, edos, roots, uh, specialized uh, to um, ethnics. Uh, we supply uh, throughout Europe. Uh, we don't have uh, too much sales in in Holland because the most of the uh, Holland produce is being sold outside Europe, uh, outside Holland again to other countries. Uh, we supply uh, wholesalers and other importers um, through Europe, so France, Spain, Italy, uh, Portugal, Germany. We cover in fact all the countries uh, in Europe. Besides that, uh, we have also a very uh, quite good interest in avocado business. Uh, we load, uh, as we speak right now, from Kenya uh, direct uh, to to Turkey. Uh, we have started uh, the Turkey business five years ago. Uh, we we need over there, and now we have opened the market, and we are the main supplier also in Turkey. Uh, we do also uh, 
uh, export from Kenya uh, into Ukraine, uh, Russia, France, and Holland. Uh, and we got uh, right, good, uh, strong relationships uh, with a company called in Kenya Soul Food, who has built a new packing house uh, according to European standards, uh, which will uh, help to improve the quality of Kenya avocados. And what I know is that a lot of uh, avocados from Tanzania is being shipped to Kenya uh, to other exporters, but they don't treat the products well. They don't pre-cool it. Uh, they don't optimize the quality. And it gives effect uh, the the Tanzania. What what we are offering is in fact uh, a quite simple uh, to act not as a client but as a partner for several uh, growers uh, into Tanzania. Uh, we, we are not really focused on big, big, big uh, exporters because we feel as a company that we would like to support and help the smaller farmers. Uh, the way we act over here is to be uh, like a partner, uh, being the ears and eyes, uh, advising them, for instance, uh, what varieties is needed, uh, uh, which season, what kind of packaging, but also uh, towards certification, what is needed. Certifications and inspections in Europe, uh, they are changing, uh, for instance, every two months. So the, the grower should be always be up-to-dated uh, on, on which requirements that they have to meet in order to be able to supply to the European market. Uh, I have my own uh, agents uh, for cost and clearance. Uh, we have our own distribution center. Uh, like this, uh, I foresee a possibility for especially smaller growers to have access to the European market. Uh, but for me, it's uh, I need to state that uh, any any participants we are going to do is not short term. We are not looking for suppliers uh, who want to start a business with us, through us, and fi finally then uh, optimize uh, with, with other clients in Europe because we will put a lot of energy, effort, and also money to promote uh, the Tanzania products uh, over here. So this is a little bit in short of what we are doing and uh, what we could do for Tanzanian uh, exporters and growers. Okay. Thank you very much for your okay. presentation. Yeah, it has been short and clear. I think okay. from the previous presentation, you know who you are going to talk after. Uh, um, not yet, not yet. I have only, uh, I was only contacted by one, uh, one girl, Habaneros, and I, I agreed with him that I would speak with him after this meeting. Yes, yes, that's what I meant. So if you yeah. wanted, yeah, because you know we were speaking also in Swahili and so on and so forth. But um, as I, um, as I said, so you have someone to to speak with after this. So I think one deal we are, is going to happen. Yeah. Today, yeah. Okay. Distant. You need to to contact him, but through through Tan Trade, they are very good on that. So I think we'll manage this. Yeah, so, um, I think I think that the, the most uh, people who are interested uh, to talk with me or to investigate the possibilities. Uh, I think uh, my contact details are, are on this uh, um, center or not available. It is available. It's available. So, so anybody yeah, who yeah, could. Yeah. Yeah, we anybody have... who can contact me, they can contact uh, through the details. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. So um, I want to go through the, your presentation in Swahili so that other people can also Perfect. understand. Okay. Because some of the colleagues, they are sitting with their, their farmers and the people they are working with. Okay. It is important we take everybody um, along with us. So... um. Mwenzetu um, amesema kwamba yeye anatokea Uholanzi ni kampuni ambayo ina ina lima na ina sambaza product moja ambayo mwenzetu aliyepita pia ameitaja ame Hamonelo ambayo ni pilipili na amesema pia kwamba muda mzuri wa biashara huwa ni kuanzia Novemba mpaka Mei na yeye kampuni yake imeanza wameanza biashara hii ya pilipili sana sana mwaka elfu mbili na tatu na wana, wana peleka, wana, wana mazao mengine bidhaa zingine ambazo wana, wana zipeleka sokoni kama vile tangawizi, viazi vitamu, avocado na soko lao kubwa zaidi ni, ni huku ulaya. 
Ufaransa, Spain, Italy, Ujerumani na pia ame, amesema kwamba wameanzisha pia business hii Uturuki ambapo wana supplier pale na asasa supplies zile pia wanazipeleka mashariki uh, Ulaya Mashariki na pia amesema kwamba wame wanafanya kazi na kampuni inaitwa Soul Food ya Kenya ambapo wame uh, hii kampuni ya Kenya imejenga pack house moja nzuri sana ambayo inaendana na matakwa ya pack house za standard za huku Ulaya na amesema kitu kimoja ambacho sisi kama wa Tanzania lazima tukifahamu kwamba yeye angependa kufanya kazi moja kwa moja na sisi yani na Tanzania kwa sababu mara nyingi kama alivyosema dada yetu kutoka Wizara ya Kilimo mazao yetu yanapita Kenya sasa yakipita Kenya mara nyingine wa Kenya wanachukua hawayafanyii hawa uh, fanyii ile kitu ambayo ni sawa yeah, i mean i mean handling hawaya handle vizuri yakifika huku Ulaya yanaonekana hayana ubora ule ambao soko linataka wakiangalia wanakuta ni mazao ya Kenya ni mazao ya Tanzania kumbe wenzetu pale wametualibia kwa hiyo hichi ni kitu ambacho inabidi tuwe makini sana sasa hichi ni kitu ambacho wakulima wao inabidi wafahamu kwa sababu mara nyingi mtu anakuja na bei nzuri kidogo anatoka labda Kenya anaendao Kenya alafu mazao hayo utiche vizuri kwa sababu wao wenzetu wa Ulaya huwa wana rudi na kuangalia so um yeye amesema kitu ambacho kwake ni muhimu sana akipate kwenye hichi kikao ni kama vile wengine wanasema tunahitaji tumetafuta masoko kwenda kuuza yeye anasema anatafuta partner anatafuta business partner watu wa kufanya naye biashara ambao wanaweza wakamzalishia waweze ku waweze kufanya kazi pamoja na ndio maana nikawa namwambia Trivin Farm hakikisha ana anapata contact hakikisha anaanza mazungumzo lakini pia na wenzangu wa Kilolo ambao mna avocado yeye pia kwenye portfolio yake ya mazao au ya bidhaa ana avocado kwa hiyo nadhani wote tume tumeelewana um, okay Napata maelekezo kwa wenzangu kutoka Tanfred. Um, um, wana shahuri sasa tumwalike of course na Joana ifuatie kwenye ratiba mwenzetu kutoka Otimare Tanzania TZ Mr. Kasim Al Alawi ambaye yeye atatueleza access of external markets yani vipi tunaweza kufikia masoko ya nje so uh, mr kasim alawi you're welcome to present now and after mr alawi's uh, presentation then we will uh, have a short break because we want to align with the secretariat and then thereafter we'll come to have some discussions which will be more or less to respond to some of the questions which have been asked okay Thank welcome you. all right um hello everybody um i would like first to to thank Tanfred um and its offices for these opportunities and effort and arrangements for that of uh it's meeting and um uh well ultimate limits is basically is a is a is a is a company based in Dar es Salaam which provides uh, agricultural commodities uh, that guarantees mutual development to human beings who have extensive knowledge and experience in agricultural uh, production sourcing value chain addition and exporting to various destinations across the globe uh, we have established well managed uh, supply chain which focuses on uh, procuring agro products uh, uh, for instance like uh, cashews raw cashews we export uh, sesame sisal coffee beans and spices uh, in food uh, food specifically we have uh, we also export we also export mangoes um pineapples and uh, and avocados uh we sometimes uh, sell uh, sell domestically and um, and uh, and sell overseas we have actually farms of uh, of, uh, of mangoes and avocados uh, mangoes and uh, and pineapples in kuranga 
Uh, we have approximately like 300 acres of mango pine or of, of mangoes and pine apples 45 acres, which you also buy from from neighboring farms as well. Uh, when we uh, we look, for, we, we we try to look uh, to uh, at the markets in the in the Middle East countries, in Arab countries, um, because they have strong marketing presence over there. And uh, unfortunately, we are uh, facing a little bit of uh, challenges in transport of uh, in terms of logistics, because uh, products in the Middle East countries um, they are very competitive compared to. European uh, uh, countries. So uh, whenever if, uh, when we miss uh, getting markets, we usually uh, sell locally to the Fresa, for instance. And uh, uh, we are a company of uh, two and a half years old. Uh, we started uh, uh, exporting cash crops uh, in two years before, but before that we used to grow. We used to grow like uh, rice, potatoes, we used to grow like mangoes, uh, sorry, um, uh, tomatoes, but uh, we, st we stopped dealing with, uh, with, uh, with those products and, uh, and uh, it focused more on buying products and, uh, and exporting ourselves. And uh, our goal basically is to reach the European markets, all right, for avocado and uh, uh, we are. We would like to build a transport, uh, transparent and successful business relationships with our clients and also supply to uh, Gulf countries. We are really, really waiting to um, uh, to Tanzania to be able to uh, to find uh, to come up with, uh, uh, with 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 its own cargo, cargo airplanes to to, to export to. Uh, to uh, to Gulf countries directly, and uh, we also we also provide marketing uh, marketing uh, services, researches, and uh, to both local and foreign uh, and foreign investors. Uh, we uh, we have export license in uh, in exporting as well um, uh, agri um, livestock livestock like meat. And uh, those products. Uh, we well, basically last year we we attended uh, an exhibition in, uh, in in Saudi Arabia. It was an agriculture exhibition. Uh, we learned a lot from the exhibition. We visited uh, um, markets of vegetables and fruits. Most of the fruits in uh, in, in that country, usually uh, such as avocado, pineapples, and mango, came from Kenya. And uh, well, they're basically we're not aware that Tanzanians uh, uh, produce such fruits, and uh, and they're very interested. Uh, we, we met uh, uh, strong uh, uh, strong business uh, strong business players over there. We're really interested of uh, uh, of getting fruits from uh, from Tanzania. Some which knew that uh, we produce such fruits, and some didn't. But they were very interested. We are still negotiating with them in terms of reaching the prices that they were usually getting in Kenya. And we usually, uh, we are committed to go uh, each country in every year just to do exhibitions. Uh, last two years, we participated in Egypt, B2B agriculture exhibition. And uh, uh, last year, we also did Saudi Arabia. And uh, this year, we're planning to go to Jordan as well to attend the exhibitions, all right? Uh, but unfortunately, the corona situation uh, prevented uh, lots of things. And how uh, uh, we go, we uh, But we are dealing with various products. We are strongly in uh, in spices and uh, and side soil, and as well uh, in pulses as well. Um, uh, we are also having a partner in uh, in Saudi Arabia who are dealing with logistics, all right? And they have marketing with, uh, marketing with India and uh, uh, in China and uh, in Jordan. So um, uh, so I think uh, um, whoever needs uh, um, contacting uh, in those countries, I think we can assist from that area. And uh, we, uh, we have also got a partner, is a, a partner in Spain as well. Who are dealing with uh, uh, with uh, with poultry products? All right. I think by the end of this year we will, we will introduce um, uh, products for uh, 
for poultry. All right, basically it's a it's a product uh, for uh, uh, basically like caging fooders and drinkers, and uh, um, we would like to introduce in, in Tanzania. So hopefully by the end of the year, uh, we're working on that, and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring some new changes in poultry sector in Tanzania. Just to mention that a little bit, and. Uh, uh, however, we are also uh, very keen to develop joint ventures and partnership through collaborations uh, with foreign partners by undertaking various commercial projects in Tanzania. Uh, we're very transparent and uh, uh, we also have uh, farms as well, I forgot to mention, sorry. We also have uh, uh, 40 acres of cashew farms in Kibiti, 400 acres, sorry, of cashew farms in Kibiti. We also have pine farm in uh, as well in, in Mapinga, all right, uh, 260 acres. We also have coconut farm uh, of 200 acres in Rufiji. These are all farms projects that we are, uh, we are, uh, uh, that is under our company and uh, which, uh, as if we are uh, having um, uh, opportunities to move them in the, in, in the near future. So uh, I think that's all for me and uh, I will just post right now my uh, our website, all right, right now. So it has all the information that you need, all the contact details. And uh, one thing as well, I would also urge uh, the local companies in Tanzania to try to exhibit and participate to uh, to foreign exhibitions and look for markets and uh, and promote the food in use because we understand, also the experts understand that Tanzania has the best product and the soil is very, very good. We just need a little bit of push in markets and promoting our products. Um, we have the potential. We have the potential once uh, once uh, everybody uh, everybody um, tries to promote their products, especially in the European markets in the Europe in the uh, in the Middle East. Uh, uh, I think we have uh, we have uh, big uh, big potential. Many many of the of the Middle Eastern countries do not know that we also have good spice, we also have avocado, we also have good mangoes, good uh, uh, good horticulture. They are not aware of these things because we we need to promote ourselves more. And uh, uh, we also uh, we also thank Tanfred for for the motivation, and we also have to as well uh, market ourselves as well. All right, we speak with uh, with uh, with the uh, chamber of commerce of different countries. We let them know that what we have and. Uh, and they will look for market as well for us, you know. Um, uh, it's basically more of that. Uh, I think that there's nothing more else that we can do except uh, promote more like our neighbors. Okay. Thank you very much for your uh, encouragement. We don't hear this spoken as in, uh, they call these people nowadays uh, motivation speaker. That is very good. I like it. Because especially for those who are, are now starting, they see that, oh, I can, there's still a way. There are challenges, but there is a way to go further. And those are the, are the kind, of, um, kind of motivations really we need. Thank you very much, Kasim, for, for, for that. I really liked it. Thanks. So um, Kasim used the English, let me go through first um, in Swahili. Um, actually, he has played his role very well because he was was supposed to share the experience he has in the in the export market. So you have um yeah, um Kasimwa present. Um Kasim wana toka kwenye kampunya to otunale TZ ni kampunya mpayo wana fanya biashara na wana wana ujuzi wa muda mrefu kidogo especially wa muda mrefu kidogo kwa maana ya wa muda mrefu so sana na wamekuwa wanafanya zaidi zaidi wanafanya um, wanasafirisha mazao nje sana sana mazao yale ambayo ni ya tuite ni makavu kama vile korosho wamekuwa wanasafirisha ufuta wamekuwa wanasafirisha maharage lakini pia wamekuwa wanasafirisha mazao kama um, maembe, mananasi, na sasa pia avocado, na wanaenda kuse, ku, kuuza huko nchi za nje, lakini sana sana wao wanaenda kwenye nchi za mashariki ya kati, maeneo ya uarabuni. 
na pia wamesema kwamba wana mashamba yao wamekuwa wanalima zamani eka mia tatu za za maembe wamekuwa wanalima na um, uh, mananasi kwenye kama eka 45 lakini ili waweze kuwa na mzigo wa kutosha wa kupeleka sokoni wamekuwa wanachukua pia kwa wale wenzao wanaowazunguka Unaona lokwa nachukua kwa wale wanaozunguka ili waweze kupata mzigo wa kutosha. So na mpaka sasa hivi bado tunalima tunayo mashamba hayo. Ah bado mnalima eh? Eh bado kwa maembe tuna tuna four types of mangoes, tuna apple, tuna palma, tuna kent, tuna apple. Yote yanapatikana katika eka 300 ambazo tutatangaza kwa kuranga. Okay. Haya asante sana kwa kurekebisha hapo kwa hiyo bado wanalima. Na lakini amesema kwamba pia kuna kuna masuala ya ya challenge katika usafirishaji kwa sababu kuna kuna competition sana na na, na mazao mengine ambayo yanatoka Ulaya kama kama nimeelewa si ndio? Yes, yes. Eh, eh. Kwa hiyo anasema miezi miaka miwili na nusu iliyopita um wameendelea na mazao mengine pia. Mfano walikuwa wanalima mazao walioacha kulima, walikuwa wanalima viazi, walikuwa wanalima nyanya, lakini kwa mazao haya hapa sasa wanalima kutoka wana, wana nunua kutoka kwa watu wengine na kuyasafirisha na sasa pia wana wanapeleka mazao kama avocado kwenye Gulf countries, Gulf countries kama tunajua ni huko uh, ma, maeneo ya Mashariki ya Kati, ma, maeneo ya Uarabuni na wameomba kwamba ikiwezekana itakuwa vizuri kama sasa hii swala ni la time trade kama tutakuwa sisi kama Tanzania tuna tuna um, cargo flight zetu wenyewe ambazo zitachukua mzigo hapa moja kwa moja na, ku, na kufikisha sokoni na pia wamesema kwa wao wana wana leseni za kusafirisha nje ku export mazao pia ya ya nyama ya nyama livestock na nyama yenyewe na pia wanategemea kuanza kufanya kazi kwenye kwenye uh, poultry na na shume kwamba poultry unaoongelea hapa ni kuku kwa sababu hata hata pia ni poultry nadhani yes. anasema wataenda wataenda pia kwenye kuangalia by mwisho wa mwaka kuanza kuzalisha mazao ya ya kuku na um, um, hey, sorry, na pia ametoa ametoa angalizo au ametoa ushauri kwamba jamani Tukitaka kupata haya mazao ya nje tuwe pia tunaenda kwenye hizo exhibition kama wao wamekuwa kila mwaka wanajaribu kwenda wameenda Egypt mwaka huu walitaka kwenda lakini corona ndio imeingilia hapo kati kwa hiyo wanakuwa wanaenda kwenye exhibition tofauti tofauti na kukutana na watu wengi na kujifunza kwa hiyo akasema pia kwamba wana mashamba mfano wanaeka nne za cashew nut wanaeka 260 wanalima pia na na miti huko pines uh, mafinga na pia wana eka miambili za coconut yani nazi um, uko rufiji na kama nilivyosema ni muhimu sana tuweze kwenda pia kwenye hizo exhibition tukajifunze wenzetu wanafanya nini na ndio hapo nilipokuwa namsifia kakaangu hapa kwamba yeye kwa topic yake amejaribu kweli kueleza kwamba tuna chances za kuweza ku, ku export zaidi hatuhitaji kukata tamaa nitumie tu zile fursa <coughs> na kuzifanyia kuzitendea haki asante sana kwa presentation hii na hapa nilikuwa nimeambiwa kwamba kuna nchi moja ambayo <laughs> ni nchi ni Tanzania lakini vitu vikitoka huku bara vikaenda kule tayari inaitwa export na hiyo inaitwa Zanzibar kwa hiyo anasema um, nimeshauriwa nime hapa ni ni, 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 ni waalike wenzetu ni Amcos ya Juas, Juasto ambao wako na Dr. Umi waweze kutueleza kuhusu um, kuhusu hizo malimbichi ambazo wanaproduce huko Zanzibar tunaomba niwape dakika tano tu baada ya hapo tuweze kupata break and then later tuweze ku, ku, um, kujibu maswali ambayo yamejitokeza Dr. Umi karibu mama 
Naomba Dr. Umi awe unmuted. Dada Nora. Mashamba yako pia inabidi jeje ni ni Aha, ya yule pa. Sasa sasa unaweza ukaongea. Tulikuwa hatukusikii. Alao habari naitwa Dr. Umi kutoka Tanzania ya Zanzibar. Ah, okay. Karibu. Okay. Nakusikia. Ya yeah, tunaomba tunaomba um, hawa wenzetu hii am course ambayo umekuja nayo ya Juasto yule ambaye anatakiwa ku present au kama wewe una present pamoja muweze ku present kama dakika tano ndicho ndo mimi nataka tusikie. Habari? Nzuri kabisa, karibu. Ah, nipo mimi ndo tayari ni afisa country ya Zanzibar. Mhm. Mm Wenzetu wa somo tuliwapa link hii watu waingie moja kwa moja kwenye mtandao lakini kwa bahati mbaya hawakuingia. Mm -hmm. Mm. Na kwa kuwa ni taasisi ambayo tunaelea sisi hapa Zanzibar mm -hmm. katika tasnia hii ya mboga mboga na kitunguu mhm mm kwa yale yote ambayo utaona kwa wao au kwa sisi tunahitaji kuwasiliana nayo naomba tuwasiliane hapa sasa hivi kupitia mfumo mhm kwa sababu wao wameshaka kuingia kwenye mfumo uko alipo okay sir mhm kwa hiyo nyinyi ndio mtapresent kwa ajili on their behalf si ndio sisi leo atapresent just ile taasisi yenyewe na inafanya shughuli gani sawa na umi na data wasubishi leo taasisi hii inafanya shughuli gani karibu dada umi aya ila sajua somo ni taasisi inajishughulisha na wafanya biashara kwa soko la mwanakorekwe hapa Zanzibar. Na taasisi hii ina jumla ya wanachama 42 ambao ni wafanya biashara wakubwa wa mazao ya mboga mboga na matunda kwa hapa kwetu Zanzibar. Hmm. Na taasisi hii iko katika soko la mwanakorekwe na tunashirikiana nao katika kuunganisha na masoko ya wenzetu kwa upande wa kutoka bara kwa ajili ya kuweza kupata hizo bidhaa zinazotoka huko. Sisi tante tukua na jukumu la kuwasaidia na kuwezesha na kuendeleza jasiria yetu tunashirikiana nao hawa katika kuhakikisha kwamba fursa hii ya masoko tunayopata inakuwa endelevu na kuweza kutambua wanafanya biashara kwa kiwango gani na kwa na kwa maendeleo gani. Tunafanya nao vikao hapa mara kwa mara kuweza kujua changamoto zao na wala tueleza hapa changamoto zao na changamoto kubwa ilo walo nayo kwanza ni elimu rasmi kwanza ya mafunzo katika tasnia ya upataji wa bidhaa bado imekuwa ni changamoto wanafanya kazi ki wale tunaita yenyewe kinyenyeji zaidi kuliko vile inavyotakiwa anakwenda mtu mwenyewe kijijini huko anaungana na mkulima anapatana na ebei anachukua mzigo moja kwa moja anakuja na anakuja na mpaka kwenye soko sasa wanapata changamoto nyingi katika hiyo biashara sasa sisi tumeamua kukaa nao na kuanza kuangalia namna bora ya kuweza kuwasaidia ili kuingia katika masoko hayo pasipokuwa na hitilafu za kibiashara baina ya wao na hao supplier wao anawapelekea bidhaa hizo kwa fupi ni ni hayo okay okay Asante sana kwa hiyo um, hiyo presentation yako naomba ni niseme tu haraka haraka tu kiendeleza hapa um, we have a presenter from country of Zanzibar they are um, i can say they are they are like a caretaker of one um, course or one um one circus known as jua soma and jua soma has about 42 members and these members are, are, are doing their business in the biggest uh, the big business people in the market called mwana mwana kwerekwe mwana kwerekwe in zanzibar so um I was 
saying before that um, when a product is coming from Tanzania mainland is going to Zanzibar, it's like we are exporting. So they are, they are assisting them to import the, the product from, from, from Tanzania mainland, them as tantrate, and also um, they assist them to, to know what are the opportunities are there, especially the markets. But also he mentioned that there is a challenge with this uh, with these circles that still they don't have uh, they don't have good um, knowledge about the the products so the things markets, they meant, yeah. yeah products and the markets sometimes they might go to the farmers and buy there but still they need to what is what is trying to say in a nutshell that they are good business people but what is lacking for them to know what are the quality needed for those products. That is that is something which also our um, sister from the Ministry of Agriculture, he mentioned about the quality of the product. That is a challenge which most of us has, have. So it is important for um, for them to, to get training and know what the market needs or what are the good products and so on and so forth. By knowing so, they can also negotiate the price. The challenge we have, you might buy something for a higher price and the, 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 the quality is low and then you can't take that product in the market. So now is um, 12.36. Um, let us take a short break. Someone can take time to, to stretch. Everyone is sitting and so we come back in 12.40 and continue with questions and answers and also so uh, some sort of discussion. So, um, and I'll be uh, communicating with my colleagues from Tantred so that we can, we can structure well that session in the next four minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome back. Just take a little break. Tahil, I don't hear you because you've been muted. Please unmute it and trade it as it I don't hear, unfortunately. Okay, let's come back in, in four minutes, um, in 12.40. We have to come back and continue with the session. Do you hear me? Yes, now, I hear you. Ah, okay, okay. So we are going for a break and then we come back. Ah, okay. okay. Yes, but yes, we have yes. also a, a farmers from Chwaka here. I think it's better to say hi. Hi. Baba Shkamo. Malaba Yambo. Siyambo Ajona. Yeah, Yoko. Alama Mzima. Mzima Kabisa. Karibu Sana. Umetusikia tunachongea, Sindio? Yeah. Anafusikia. Anafusikia. Hey. Kwa hiyo umetusikia tulichokuwa tunakiongea. Sasa tunaenda eh yeah, tunaenda uh -huh, tuna kwa, kwa kufanya break mara moja na pumziko lakini tunarudi dakika kama tatu zijazo tunaendelea. Kwa hiyo baba ukitaka kusimama na kujinyosha ndio muda huu. And then tutarudi kuendelea na majadiliano tena. Haya sana. Asanteni sana kwa kumleta mzee. Haya. Okay. 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 Okay.